The honest truth. The honest truth. Damn, I can't believe I'm finna say this. It's Ooh. not like bad. Check it out. So, damn, I know he gonna see this too. Welcome to another episode of Hot Boxing. I'm Mike Tyson. I'm who, kid? Today we have, hey, listen, we have somebody that won every award they had to make, okay? This is the baddest mother in the history of bad mother The quintessential Little Nas X. Yeah, clap that shit up. How y'all doing? How y'all doing today? Gonna be doing better with you here. Yeah, man. Uh, thank you for the intro. I appreciate that. It's all good. Go Bro, what? The... Who calls me Monty? Who puts Montero, Monty, Lamar here? Montero, that's the car, right? <laughs> Y'all was named after a car. That's beautiful, man. No that's way. Beautiful. Did somebody put that on here? <laughs> yeah. Do you ever go by Monty? Some of my friends call me Monty sometimes. That's what I was talking about. Like, yes, I was like, I always have like the most random nicknames sometimes. We're not meant random, but like Monty and like X. Like, Monty there's been X. 10 people ever call me X. X is a cool name. X is a legendary name, X man. very legendary. Yeah. Man, well, we were talking about the cancel culture. Do you, do you give a f about that? Shit? I heard you be having picket signs at your concerts. You troll those Christian guys and stuff. They try to, like... Do I? Know. What do you mean trolling Christians? No, the, the, you know those uh, Christian dudes that be oh, at yeah, concerts. They, they, they go against, like, Yeah, we don't like your lifestyle like yeah. that. Oh, we we yeah. used to see them at the 50 Cent show. They go against, like, you know, the violence of hip-hop, and they're out there picketing and stuff. You you sent him pizza one time. They used to do that to me before. <laughs> what protesters? Protest me. No, I don't watch this. Oh, at your fight. <laughs> oh, <laughs> but you sent him pizza. Nobody right? listens to him anyway. <laughs> pizza? Did you send him pizza or something? I saw something. Like I didn't send him some pizza. Okay. <laughs> Did they eat it? <laughs> they didn't eat it. <laughs> we know you like with people. I like people. That's like my thing. I like um. I like a little chaos. Yeah. Control I mean? chaos. Yeah. Most is controlled. That's why I have, like, the most fun in, like, my career and, like, life and stuff. I mean, everything happened with you so fast. Like, you went from your sister's couch to the label meeting, and that was your first time on a plane to her? That's crazy. Like... Yeah, it was crazy. I went there. <laughs> what the f And it was, like, um... Ron Perry's like my CEO of Columbia. We sat down and it was just like a dream. And then my dad sent like a picture of Ron Perry. He's like, is this the man you're talking to? Like, is he trying to see if he was scamming me or some shit? Oh, but, but yeah, <laughs> it was him. It's sports season, baby, and our sponsors, True Classic, has everything you need. Whether you have abs of steel or soft center, finding the right t-shirt can be trouble. Most t-shirts are too tight in all the wrong places or way too big and boxy, but not True Classic. This is the brand behind the softest, flattering, and most comfortable t-shirt of the year. True Classic is the one shop stop for your favorite casual crew necks, polos, and active wear. True Classics make quality clothing. I mean it, man. You'll get the perfect fit and the softness you've always wanted. Whether you're at the gym or you've had one too many beers, you need True Classic. They use a foolproof perfect fit formula. Their tears are snug around the arms and chest to make your muscles pop. And they leave a, a little wiggle room in the torso for extra comfort. Their active wear t-shirts, joggers, and shorts can get you from the couch to the gym and back. Do us all a favor. Show off your arms with their active wear crewnecks. They are sun and sweat wicking. Plus, they look amazing. Worried about the sizing? True Classic leaves no man behind. For any of the bigger boys out there, there's tall and triple X sizing. Upgrade your wardrobe with True Classic. Get 25% off a trueclassic.com with code HOTBOXING. Free shipping includes on purchases over 100 bucks. Again, that's 25% off at trueclassic.com with code HOTBOXING. Strengthen your core wardrobe with the True Classic today. Like now. Yeah. 
The best time to prepare for growth is between the opportunity arrives, especially for online businesses. ShipStation sets you up for growth by directly integrating with every shopping cart and storefront. So your products are easier to find, easier to manage, and easier to get into the hands of happy customers. One way I like to avoid holiday stress is getting on top of our online products and shipping before the shipping season starts. The easiest way I've found to do this is with ShipStation. This way we don't have to feel overwhelmed and play catch up and can feel reassured that our customers are receiving their order on time. No more limiting your business to one store. ShipStation integrates with every platform, including Amazon, Etsy, eBay, Shopify, etc., making it easy to manage all your shipping from one simple dashboard. This helps to maximize your sales with minimal effort. Save time with consolidated order management and automated shipping updates for your customers. Easily compare carriers, rates, and delivery times to get the most out of every send. Join and support companies using ship stations such as Sock Club and Siete Foods. Get the same discounted shipping rates as Fortune 500 companies, whether you're sending a stack or a truck full. Go to ShipStation.com today and sign up with promo code HOTBOXING for a free 60-day trial. Start today and get set up before the biggest shipping season of the year. Again, that's two months free. Visit ShipStation.com, click the microphone at the top, and type in code HOTBOXING. So the, the rumors of you being like homeless, homeless. You were just on your. No, I was never homeless. Okay, let's get that out the I way. I didn't. I didn't have a home really, but I wasn't okay. homeless. Like I was bouncing to my sister house to my brother house. You fucked up, huh? Yeah, I was fucked up. So good. I was fucked up for a little bit. I fucked up, man. Yeah. So tell me, you got brothers and sisters? I got like uh, five brothers. You tell me about how this works. What do you mean how it works? How do you, your brother who's older, younger? I'm the youngest on both sides. Yeah? Yeah. Close to any of them? The closest? Yeah, one of my brothers here right now, one of my cousins here right now, I'm pretty close to them, but it's like, still kind of like, you know, you know, once you get to your adult lives, I feel like it's not as close as when you were like kids and stuff like that. So who's close to you now? Who's the closest to me? Yeah. Me, I guess. Like, I'm not really super close with Anybody, really, I guess. How old are you? Yeah, I'm 23. 23? Damn. That's how you old y'all is. We old. old. We your father. What? What's we the age? your father, 56. I'm 56? Like, I just turned 51. Really? But like, damn, you got like 30 more years to just be in everybody's DNA and become like this cultural icon. Like, cultural icon? That's all I got left? Yeah, you don't think he's one now? See all Awards he won? Yo, but, yo. Forbes magazine, all these magazines, he's not an icon. Wait, why y'all just why you see all these 30 more years though? Like, is that is that where like people ends? look at like Queen, they look at like all these other guys. They, they've been out for like they look Who's at Queen? Like, like a rock star okay. status. Like that's uh, rock star status. But I mean won all those damn is. awards, but did you win some rock too, right? Yeah. <laughs> Time magazine. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, sitting on your sister's couch, you think all that would happen so fast. He had to know this guy. Um Something like that. I just knew I was like, I want to blow up within a year. And like my, fir my first goal within was like... Within a year? Yeah. Oh, shit. That was crazy. like my goal, like my plan. So it was like I barely like didn't really sleep or anything. But anyways, I was like, I want to be like the biggest rapper and whatnot. Then I was like, once I got into music and I was like, no, nah, I just want to be the biggest artist, like period. Mm. And you know, that's going to take some time, but... Yeah. Did, did, did your family members like, like care about your... Did they, did they hate on you? Did they like, oh, you ain't going to make it? Uh. Yeah, my cousin over there, she was like, you never going to... No, I'm playing. <laughs> I was, um... You know, my family used to always... They were like, you got this, but I feel like it was like a... You have fun with this little thing until you're finished with it, and then you go back to school kind of Get thing. Get a job. Real estate. Yo, know, the good looking are giving <laughs> us time from your tour, man. How's the tour going, man? Tour's going great. Amazing, I'm like, right? I'm having the best time of my life. I'm loving yeah. this uh, play so tonight's build. tonight. You're not here in L.A.? Yeah. Yeah, I'm here tonight, but my uh, performance is like tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. 
how is it? Um, you know, uh, I heard about the the down south hoes. Uh, what happened to down, down south hoes? Who these hoes? Down yeah. south hoes. Have you ever heard of Saucy Santana? Who? Saucy Santana. Oh, he's from. Uh, um, How she like, look? Uh, he, Florida. Yeah, he's that crazy guy. guy. Oh, brother. Teachers. He's like a. Um, he's like a gay rapper, mm. and he's like blowing up, and he's kind of like. We have like this song together called Down South Hoes, and we both from the South. It's not out yet. But it's not out. It's gonna be all in the strip clubs. The silence. I know this guy. He did roll aloud. He was gonna roll aloud. Huh? He, I met him in Roll Aloud. Yeah. He's crazy. Yeah. He doesn't give a fuck either. He'd be wilding out, yo. <laughs> no, he's he's crazy as hell. Is that gonna be on the next album or that, that's just a joint yet, dude? Um No, it's gonna be on the next album. Is this like talking points they gave you? No, 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 no. I'm just making shit up as we go. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you gave me a little tidbit. Bro, do you know any of my songs? Uh, I know a couple of your songs. What the fuck you doing in the song? Do you know any of my songs? What? Do you know any of my songs? Yeah, the motherfucking cowboy song. What's the, what's the <laughs> Billy Ray Cyrus song? nigga. The That's the only Ray... song you know? And then I saw you do some motherfucking shit when you're naked and shit. Oh. <laughs> Come That's on, a man. couple of different things. Yeah, nigga, I know your fucking music. What do you think you're on the fucking show? I, I started know, playing man. Star. I started playing Star Walking, but I play like a remixes. I Come on, show more of your shit, man. Uh, one, of, one of my main questions is the Nas. Do you do a record so with him? <laughs> you do a record with him? No. Nah. Yes. Where? Which one is it? I did a record with him, and we have no video for it yet, but it's like a twerk song, and yeah, you know, we're going to have everybody shaking ass in the clubs. Twerkers, huh? That's the whole, that's the whole thing we're doing with that. Yeah. You want to hit that shit? Professional You don't twerkers. play that for me? I play one. Yo, whatever is you got it right now? popping. What, the song? Twerkers. The twerkers? You say you have twerkers, right? No, 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 like... Like not yet. Like Whoa, this, relax, but in the future. Like, no, I want to see his moves and shit. He's a real, he's a real interesting guy. Show him ministry, baby. I think he's seen it. He said he saw it. Unlock your confidence with the Performance Package 4.0. Inside, you'll find the holy grail of men's grooming items. Michael Myers sure is scary, but the last thing you need is to be hairy this Halloween. Luckily, our friends at Manscaped launched their fourth-generation performance package to make sure your pumpkins get the ultimate carving experience on this spooky day. Ugh. Unlock your confidence with the Performance Package 4.0. Inside, you'll find the holy grail of men grooming items. It's a full moon out there. Or should I say it's a full moon out. And the werewolf in your pants is howling. Oh, it's time to tackle that problem with the lawnmower. 4.0. That's my lawnmower sound. Their finely tuned pube products feature a cutting edge ceramic blade to reduce grooming accidents. Ugh. Thanks to their advanced skin safe technology, the Lawnmower 4.0 is easily the greatest ball trimmer. Whoa, on the planet. Oh, did I mention this trimmer is waterproof too, Mike? Wow, this trimmer is a, is a shower essential, buddy. Wow. The Performance Package 4.0 also includes a weed whacker, a nose and ear hair trimmer that provides proprietary skin-safe technology that helps prevent nicks, snags, and tugs. Seal the deal with Manscaped's liquid formulations. Ooh. Their Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant and Crop Reviver Ball Toner will make sure your pumpkin stays fresh. Trust me when I say this, fellas. Your balls will be thankful. Also, if you're looking like Wolverine and haven't cut your nails recently, be sure to look into the Shears 2.0 nail kit. Manscaped also launched their new body buffer, 100% antibacterial body scrubber. Manscaped even threw in two free gifts to their performance package 4.0, the Manscaped boxes and the, sh the, and the shed travel bag. Bring your comfort and boxes to another level. Get 20% off free shipping with the code HOTBOXING at manscaped.com. Again, that's 20% off plus free shipping with the code HOTBOXING at manscaped.com. Say trick or treat 
to your beautiful new Halloweeny with Manscaped. For the coolest and smoothest smoking experience, you need a freezable pipe, bubbler, bong, or dab ring from Freeze Pipe. The secret is freezable glycerin chambers that come on every piece. Pop one of these chambers in the freezer for one hour, and as smoke passes through it, it's instantly chilled by over 300 degrees. Wow. The result is a bigger, smoother hit with zero chest or throat burn. Glycerin is a non-toxic fatty gel commonly found in food and sweeteners. It freezes quicker than water and stays frozen longer. You may have tried putting ice in your bong before, but having smoke pass through a frozen glycerin chamber will change how you light up forever. Shop pipes, bubblers, bongs, dab rigs, and more at thefreezepipe.com. Get 10% off at thefreezepipe.com with the promo code HOTBOXING. Okay. Running the joint. He's running the joint, huh? <laughs> Who choreographed this? You? No, it's that's his um choreographer named Sean Bankhead. Bop, bop. Look at Mike. Mike going crazy, look. Y'all niggas crazy. <laughs> You're like, tell her everything on C. One part nigga like Bieber. <laughs> Finna shake my wig off. What a good song, man. I agree. I'm a big fan of him. Who do you want to perform with? Like in life? On the stage. On the stage? Yeah. I want to, um... Shit, who's alive? Um, yeah, I want to have, have a song with Drake. Oh, that'd be cool, too. But I don't think I would like to perform with Kanye, maybe. How, how is uh, uh, Lil Nas X view on on religion or uh, spirit, spirituality? Like, you know, um, I see it through your videos. You lash at the narrative that's out there. Mm, well, what narrative is that? I mean the way the way you know we look. I mean the way the regular people that are ignorant out there, the last of the Mohicans, you know, whatever's out there. What's the Mohicans? The last of the Mohicans, like the last of Native like, the American, way, the, the ignorant way of people thinking. Is like, that really what Mohicans means? Yeah. Oh, okay. I mean, they decimated all the Indians. We killed them all. There's only a few left. Yeah. But pretty much, but pretty much, I grew up um, Christian. And in the Christian household, my dad's even a gospel singer. Mm. Praise the Lord. Yeah, my dad's a gospel <laughs> singer. And my uh, family's <laughs> always, like, been, like, super, like, church and whatnot. And I went to church a lot, too. I maybe do still go to church every blue moon just with my family or something. Because that's, that's, like, their thing. Okay. Um, but I feel like around, like, 17, I was just like, oh, nothing exists. And just, like, didn't believe in anything. And then once music came along... I was like pretty much like spiritual. So like I believe in like angels and mm -hmm. like the universe and whatnot, but I'm not like religious. You know what I mean? Like book reading. What does the angel yeah. so um tell me what an angel look like to you? No, I don't like see angels like physically. I just like see like synchronicities, like little things that happen. And I'm just like, oh, there's no way like this is just just happening, you know? I don't believe in like coincidences like oh, anymore, I, can I guess. agree on that. Yeah. What you believe in? Huh? Me. What do you believe I in? believe in me. You believe in you? Yeah. What does that mean? You don't believe in nothing? Excuse me? You don't believe in nothing? Like, I mean, like, you don't believe in, like, anything, like, religious or, like, spiritual? I got the characteristics of many religions. Mm hmm But I believe in God. I happen to be a Muslim, but I have the characteristics of quite a few religions. I feel it. What about you? Um, yeah, I came from a Catholic background, but I'm more spiritual now because of my travels. I've been everywhere. Oh. You know? So it's, when you get outside, you know, if you go to the Vatican, you hang out with like Mandela. You, I mean, I'm, I'm I'm just bugging out right now. You know, when you when you're in these different countries, I hung out with poor, Mandela before. Rich, you hung out with Mandela so, before. Right? So what did y'all think about the shit that I was doing? 
What's your, your shit? Yeah, I mean, like, the shoes and, like, I don't know if y'all know, like... What yeah, uh, the, the the blood and the shoes and the Nike and all that stuff. I mean, I, I, I'm in the industry, so I I, had a, you know, hey. I look at it in a way where you're just, like, coming at the way they always use the devil yeah. connecting with your music. Like, you know, because homosexuality, the church always puts, like, the devil. What's the frog for? That, that's the what? toe. I smoke it. Ah. Uh, wait, it's a bong? No, um... The real frog, the real frog. See the bumps on the face? See the bumps? Yeah. I bust it, and the puffs come out, I put it on the mirror, and it gets all <laughs> No, I smoke it. Oh, you, okay. You try it one day. I'll try it one time. It'll never be the same, so be prepared. <laughs> when you do that, be prepared to change. If you don't want to change, don't touch it. All right, I love change. Well, like I was saying, how, how do you view the devil in, in your way? Is it real to you? Is the devil real? I believe in, like, evil. Like, there's definitely evil, but I feel like everything is subjective because it's, like, it it all depends on what ex society, like, accepts. But who this devil you talking about? Little guy in the basement with a horn and spike? What's yeah, this man, devil look like? There's another devil out here? I don't know. I mean, I had a devil dog the other day. I don't know. You I mean, believe in the devil? Uh, I mean, I believe in evil. I don't. I don't know. I don't, know about I don't believe part. in the devil. You believe in evil. You could be a bad person. And well, listen. I believe that's what we call it. We call it evil. What did we call? When did evil was the first time it was used? So it's not evil. It was created. The, it, it was created. The word. The word evil was created to explain something that's this uh, disgusting. Or well, anti. Uh, yeah. So I don't believe anybody's really evil. I just believe they had um, misguided. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think nobody's completely anything. Because there's good in everyone. Yeah. It's good in everyone. Well, I, I, the way I look at it, I don't think anybody has a right to judge anything. That's not true. You can still judge. You can still judge people, and, and, and like, your judgment is law. Like, yeah, no, not definitely not. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, who who has the power to do that? I mean, you can judge people. You can believe you can have your opinion about a person, and that could be in, uh, interpreted as um, just being who you are. Everybody has, everybody, people can do whatever they want. It's a free country, right? Mm. We can yeah. do whatever we want. These conversations are serious. So, what's your favorite color? Um, blue. Blue is a good color. Blue. It used to be my favorite color. My favorite color, purple now. It was purple? Yeah. Is it because of weed or is it like... No, it's just blue, but it's purple now. I think it's purple now just because, like, everybody had blue, and I was like... Fuck that. <laughs> purple, <laughs> gotta do a different one now. purple is royalty. Purple is royalty? Makes sense. Alexander the Great wore purple. Mm -mm -mm. Yes, yeah, a purple heart is, like, something... In war, right? When you like win, so wait, what's you win a purple heart in the army mm. now? Yeah, what does it mean? Um, you're brave and courageous. Oh, do you have to survive to get a purple heart? No, you, you can get, get a it. dead motherfucker and get a yeah, purple heart? posthumously. Sheesh. Posthumously, yeah. you got family in the army? <sighs> my family, all my family on my grandfather's side, everybody's in the army, everyone. My brother too. Every, I'm the only guy that never been to that because I'm a criminal and have so many <laughs> felonies. But um, I'm the only guy that never been to the um, army. My whole family. Did you ever have a Mike Tyson in your family, like a, a uncle or somebody like him? That's crazy. Am I crazy? Am I multiple? Not crazy though. <laughs> <laughs> you don't think I'm crazy, right, little? Ass? <laughs> I don't think you're crazy. Thank you. I think you've done some crazy stuff. Yeah, I do crazy shit sometimes. I'm trying to stop, but I'm working on it. <laughs> Who, <laughs> get out of this craziness. Who's your catalyst? Who, who created Lil Nas X? Like, is, is there an artist or? Um, the social networks and medias. Wow. I'm like an internet baby, so I pretty much, I got so lost in the internet, like as a teenager, it like uh, pretty much became like me and like who I am and like how I was raised, cause like, I was never like uh, with my family and stuff like that. I was mm. like in my room or even at school on my phone, you know? Was it like SoundCloud and stuff like that or is this? No, I mean like literally like mm. Twitter and stuff. Like oh, I was wow. a real menace on there. 
Do you have any fucking friends, man? I have fucking friends. No, I don't. Uh, you tell me. I have, I have a Twitter. few friends. Fucking Twitter. You met him on Twitter, huh? I actually did. But some of <laughs> not all of them. Not all of them. <laughs> it's all good. I'm fucking with you, Do man. you got a lot of close friends? They are dead, most of them. I'm in prison for life. But I got, I got new... I have friends that... My famous friends, you know, my guy that mm. mentions I was famous and business partners, all my friends I grew up with, they... You count them as still? Huh? Like famous friends, do you count them no, as like friends? No, I didn't mean famous friends. I said friends I met since I was famous. Um, what about famous friends, though? Do you, like, count them as friends? I don't know if I have too many famous friends. I, I don't know. Like, are you friends with Kanye? Um, I'm friendly with him. I never been over his house. He never been over my house. Y'all already talked about Kanye? Huh? No, not yet. <laughs> no, we we saw him yesterday. <laughs> you coming from the Matrix outside? You know, it's like Kanye's world right now. How, how you feel? Does that affect you, or are you in your own world? How we in Kanye's um, world? Tell me how that works. I mean, he created like this this Matrix for all of us. All oh, of us I is see. talking about him, getting angry, happy, different opinions. I feel like um. You know, Kanye's going to do what he's going to do, and everybody's going to get over it. Exactly. I said that the other day. You got a lot of animals at your house? Um, I have a lot of pigeons. Pigeons? Yeah. Oh, I've seen that picture. That picture of you with the pigeons? Yeah, I'm a pigeon guy. He likes birds. He's like a birdie guy. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah I'm a pigeon. That's like, listen, my oh, a pigeon led me up to right here, and my first fight was over somebody that killed my pigeon. Word? Yeah, I never stopped fighting since. Are pigeons? Fucking pigeon. Are, <laughs> fucking pigeon. Are they like, do, are they like safe to have? Yeah, very safe. Look at my fucking birds, nigga. First, look at that. First class birds. First, come on, let's go. World class birds. Go back there, baby. Go, oh, please, please, sister. Those look. are some good birds. That's best in the world, right? Those rollers. Look at those rollers. They you roll so fast, they ride? explode on the floor when <laughs> they hit. Have a pet? No, oh, look how beautiful that to... bird is. God, you don't have damn. a pet. You don't have a pet. Where'd you get your pigeons from? <laughs> the like best, you just got them. The like, best in New breeders York? in the world. Oh, you like bought them from like a breeder? Yeah. Uh -huh. This these are world champions like me. These birds, they ain't no fucking rat pigeons to hang on the street. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's wrong with those pigeons? What? So you like you you don't fuck with those ones? Well, all of, every pigeon in the world came from those pigeons. That one. Yeah, I was like twenty years old. That 19. picture. I don't know what's going on here with the birds, man. This is like very, very exclusive. So you don't have no pet right now? No, I used to have two dogs, but then I got like busy. So I like. Can't I was, like, take care of them no more. Huh? Yeah, and I didn't. They started liking the trainer more than me. And I was like, <laughs> just tell them, take them. I was like, come to me. It was like, oh, nigga, you good. Yo. Yeah. Who, wh which artists uh, made it like easier for you to like come out when you came out? Like you looked up to, like they came out. And then you were like, fuck that. I mean, it's easy for me to come out. Or you didn't give a fuck, you would have come out anyway. I don't know. I don't know who came out. Um, yeah, some people look at uh let me see. Um Oh yeah, Frank Frank. Yeah, like Frank Ocean was like the first one that, in the hip hop, I guess, area, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I think Frank Ocean maybe. But not really. As I say, like I became spiritual, so I was just like. Oh, this is my like sign. I have to come out because if I don't, then I don't know. Maybe like I don't know. I mean, your song, be your song "Closure." You, you, you had people check the lyrics. Yeah, you, you put that out. You use Twitter and all the social media outlets for that. But yeah, was that was that your way of like uh, releasing the information or? Um. Yeah. You gotta come out anyway. Who gives a fuck? Huh? You gotta come out anyway. Probably not. What's it like what? living in Atlanta, Georgia? Atlanta? Do you live in Atlanta now? Atlanta? No, I live in LA now. I mean, but living in Atlanta was cool. Yeah. Yeah, it was like, um, it was scary too, though. I mean, because I, I used to live in like the slums of Atlanta, but then I moved to like the more like suburban kind of area. So the slums cool. in Atlanta are pretty bad, huh? <laughs> oh, it get crazy out there. Like, they used to shoot like every other night. And you'd be trying to go to sleep. You'd be like, damn, I hope I don't get shot while I'm sleeping or something. I don't know, I sound excited about it. It's just like, <laughs> Atlanta's wild, man. It's like I a never, shootout city over I there. never knew that. All them niggas out there from all sections of the world, bad, tough guys, all go to Atlanta, huh? 
There's a lot of gangster gay guys there too, right? They, they be killing most. I never actually met those gay gangster gay guys. They're out there though. They, they're, they're crazy. How do you, how come you know them? No, it's known. Atlanta. I'm like, I know. I know. Like, I'm like any gangster gay guys what? out there are not like out. Like they're not gonna tell anybody, you know? Yeah, it's, it's just like if you're a killer, you ain't gonna tell nobody you're a killer. So true. But they 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 out there. They're known. There's famous ones. It's like, I feel like it's gonna be a gay gangster soon. That's like really popular, mm, like a movie coming out. But like one that's not like in the closet. No, not like a movie. Like a person that's like oh. notable. Notable. You know what I mean? Do you? Yeah. We bullshit, you know. What? I gotta keep my my crew in check. You know what I mean, right? I know what you mean. What do I mean? I just feel like with the way people are looking at the world and and accepting of things now, that more people are gonna feel comfortable to come out. Ain't well, nobody accepting no motherfucking thing. What are you talking about? Nobody accepting anything. The fuck are you talking about, X? I don't know. I feel like she kind of right. You think so for real? For real, for real, you think I she I feel right? like the world's like slowly changing, but like fast. I mean, because like you got to think about it. Of course the world's changing. I'm fucking with you again, man. Huh? Of course they accept you. I'm fucking with you again. No, 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 because you're partially right, too, you know? No, listen, the only reason they don't change is because... They want. They don't want to get canceled. What's that word again? Handicap. That's not a good one either. Oh, you can't say handicap. Challenge, mentally challenged. Yes. Oh wow. You know, that happens too. We all have to yes, work together. Every listen, we can't help everybody, but everyone can help someone, and that's how I look at life. Where Where do you see like in the next five years, where everybody's gonna be in one plane? What? Not think think in the same way. Like, I don't think that's ever gonna happen. I just don't think like, the world should ever be like that either, though. Because if the world's like perfect, then we don't, we gonna have shit to do no more, and we just gonna like mm. die off, you know. So, but I think it's gonna get like Why slowly do you think better. We're gonna die off. Because I mean, humans thrive on drama, you know, and like having something to do, and like having like a purpose. Like if your purpose is standing outside with like a picket and like trying to stop the gay nigga from performing. It's like, that's that's something you feel like is mm. beyond you and like bigger and and we need that to exist. They know? did a rat utopia. They put rats in a, a tube, really big, all the space in the world, all the food in the world, and they started breaking off into groups. One group would clean itself, the fresh group, one group would attack the rest of them, one group would be so petrified, mm. and eventually, they stopped breathing, and they all died. Is that a study? No, perfect world. Yes, study. Oh. It, it means this. Um, without struggle, there's no progress. You have to struggle. Life's about struggling. That's what I, it's all I feel about. like people that don't understand stuff, I mean, that it makes the world move around. But can you tell when somebody's uncomfortable when you're in front of somebody? Like the, the, about the him? Yeah. Can you tell? Like, you'd be laughing ignorance? and shit. Yeah. You can tell that there's an ignorant person in front of me, and you, you just fuck with them. Like, you what you mean, sense. ignorant? I mean, you know, he means I mean, somebody you can tell. in Alabama that's yeah. eighty years old and, and, and only no. on the Bible Belt. I feel like I was in Texas. Not mm -hmm. feel like I was in Texas like two days ago in Austin, Texas, and I definitely noticed there were a lot of older, Bible older belt guys. Believing, you know, read the Bible, this is no good. Yeah, this, super. Yeah. But they were in front of the audience, like in the front of the stage. Oh, they were? Oh, shit. Yeah, and I was just like, I was like, do they know what this show is? <laughs> or they're, like, do they know what this is? Where they yeah. were kind of vibing, okay. you know? So, you know, I feel like, yeah, that's all. I just wanted to say that. Okay. But you can definitely tell they were kind of like, what the fuck this nigga up here doing? It's like, yo, but I, I, I know like some, some gangster homies that they, when your song come on, they be turning up. But I feel like, when I'm personally with them, they turn up, but they won't turn up publicly. Like, no, that's how. What the fuck I, is that about? Like, that's just how the fire. world is, though, because it's yeah. like you don't want to let people know. It's just how even nowadays people are getting more comfortable with like listening to like female rappers and shit, mm -hmm. or like dudes saying like, "Oh, she's dope." Because before that, it was just like you can't really say the shit because if you say that, then you are automatically gay and you love dick. Basically, that's mm -hmm. how people looked at it. And that's how they look at it. If you like my music, if you like my music and you're a man, then obviously you're gay. You like men and you want to be fucked really badly. That's that's how they look at it. I'm just going to I know you two both mentioned the word gangster. What, what does that mean? No, how do you consider that, it? No, I, I mean, I got homies. How do you it, define a gangster? I mean, his song was, uh, yo, his song was undeniably a hit. So if you're in the car, it comes on, 
motherfuckers to turn it up. But it's like they won't turn up in front of other niggas. Like, I don't but know. What like, is I'm the gang? The definition of gang for your definition? I mean, I mean I, I'm using that as a metaphor. They, right. they don't need to be like, thug down. I'm talking about like a regular, like a regular nigga that, I don't know, maybe they're homophobic or whatever, but they just like, they like the song, but they won't do it in front of other people, but they'll do it in their car. They turn up in their car, they like the shit. And isn't that crazy that there's people like that? I don't think people, um, I don't know, I don't think people don't dance when the song come on, straight guys. It's good music. I've seen people in clubs turn up. Like, I mean, I do Hakkasan, I do Vegas, I got residencies everywhere. I guess in th in that world, I mean, Were I you, even brought it up. EDM, the EDM world kind of accepts you easily with no problem. Were you ever like anti-gay people? Huh? Were you ever like anti-gay people? Coming from the uh, 90s. I, I talked, mean, I talked, I, I talked, um, uh, some of the great, there were great fighters that were gay. But I'm just saying that um, from my ignorance, what I is? said shit, you know? You know, I have, um, um, I have friends, you have gay people in my family, gay sister. It's just um, it's just the way we live our life. We love each other, we fight for each other, die for each other. Um, that doesn't penetrate anything that I think of. I have yet. a question. What? <laughs> yeah. Oh, what the hell is this? It's like plastic? It's like fake, fake, fake. Uh, is it? Okay, but think about this. <laughs> you in an argument with a gay person, is everything off limits and you like coming at their life? I'm coming at everybody's life, straight, gay. I don't know, bifocal, gay, so I, anybody, I mean, it's coming at anybody. <laughs> bifocal. Did you know in the 90s, like, the word, the, the F word, you say, I mean, obviously you can say, but that word was in every hip-hop song back in the days? Like, that shit was like... Movies, too. Yeah, movies, everywhere. Like, it's, I mean, it, it's It's crazy a bunch of sticks, okay? They're a bunch of sticks. <laughs> <laughs> a bunch of sticks it, or it, cigarettes. A I, cigarette. I, I, I got one question. The cigarette. They go to England. They say you got a. Well, that's <laughs> in the UK. I don't. You've been in the UK, right? What is it? Smoke a. <laughs> yeah, but whatever, yo. Lord, <laughs> my Twitter career is over. He's praying. He's praying. <laughs> do you, I mean, do you, do you like the word pause? Do you like that word that they use all the time? Pause. What's that about? What do you mean? What's it's that like about? when you say something. Shut the fuck up. No, no, no. You no. Know. Explain to him, please. Wait. Like, uh, when you say something like gay or like gay leading, like, you'd be like, bro, you look nice today, pause. Or like, <laughs> like or it'll be like, no homo. It's like the same equivalent, you know? Yeah. Okay. You hate that word. I don't hate nothing. Okay. Um, I think it's like, it's whatever. It's like nigga. It's like everybody's saying nigga, nigga. It's, no, it's, it's not like system. nigga. People don't gay. Uh, Hey, gay motherfucker. They don't say that. Well, we don't say that. That's true. They don't say that. <laughs> God, Twitter. <laughs> I mean, do, do you say pause when we do regular... I mean, when we do our shit, when we fucking bitches, do you say pause? Like, yo... I yo, mean, pause. Yeah, do you say pause? Wait, wait, don't uh, stroke. I mean, I don't yo. know. Do you say pause? <laughs> yo, pause. <laughs> Woo. Yo, chill with that straight <laughs> shit. Yo, pause. That's what I'm saying, dude. I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, shit. Dude, dude. I, I wouldn't say pause. I mean, it's a girl sometimes. Yeah. Because it's, it's sometimes like girls be like all over me, and I'll just be like, yo, relax a little bit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, not like a, like, yo, chill with that shit. Like, yo, don't do that straight shit around me. Like, <laughs> no. <laughs> no, but yeah. Fans be going crazy around you, right? Can you, how do you control them? Like, you, you got crazy security niggas and... Because I, I think before you blew up, you used to be walking in the airport. What are you doing, man? You're lifting weights, doing steroids? <laughs> huh? You doing steroids, came man? Out of lifting weights? No, nah, I actually thought about doing steroids one time. Nah, come on, but, man. No, I'm so serious. I thought about doing steroids a few months ago, but I was like, my fucking heart will probably combust if yes. I try some shit yeah, like that. Yeah, doing Immediately. This. And also... Oh, no. I just... Don't even be working out no more. Really? Yeah, I mean, I just One like push-ups. John Henry motherfucker. You've never worked out a day in his life and you just look like he was in the football forest, huh? I definitely be working out, but just like not as much as I used to because I'm on tour and, you know, tour. You been lifting shit, nigga. You, you don't think I'm lifting nothing? You been lifting weights, <laughs> nigga. Yeah, I mean, my body in 2019 and now is different. Pause. Like, like, what do you mean 19 and now? What was different about it? 19 and 20. You know? No, I mean like 2019 and right now is like it, it's like it's slightly bigger. I was bigger at the end of last year. So was I. Word? 
We're born. You still be working out? Yeah. Every day? Yeah, I'm starting to do it every day now, yeah. Mm-mm. Is it hard to work out? You in the studio every night, like getting your album done? Is it kind no, of No, I be trying to be in the studio every night, but it just be hard to work out because I be having too much fun, to be honest. Oh, where? Is with the tour and everything, right? Yeah, it's my first time like having like unfiltered like fun. So it's like, mm. it's like I'll work out tomorrow or the next day. Unfiltered fun. I like that one. How the days be ending, like five, six in the morning? Is it like some rock star shit? Yeah, I mean, because right now I'm at this point where it's like, I'm trying to make my second album, and I don't want that shit to sound nothing like the other one. Okay. So I'm trying to find like different vibes and get like lost a little We're bit. Do it in Spanish then. Do it in Spanish? <laughs> yeah. Want something different, huh? That's you, actually you a good idea. You want all those other awards? Let's win some Spanish shit. We'll get some Spanish awards, Latino awards. You like Bad Bunny? Neither, huh? Yeah, you like Bad, Bad Bunny? Bunny's good, and so is Homeboy too. Jack Palance. Did you see Bad Bunny the other day? No, I didn't see Bad Fucking he, Bunny. Um, he kissed a guy and a girl. Oh, he's, he's didiexal. Very sensual, too. <laughs> what? I mean, was that a good kiss or a bad? That was a good kiss, right? I feel like he stole my whole flow. He did, right? No, I'm playing. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't see the kiss. I saw a picture of it. Mm. I thought it was dope. Yeah. Don't get jealous, all right? Huh? Don't get jealous. <laughs> what? Why am I jealous of Bad Bunny? Don't be jealous. Don't be jealous. You a big Bad Bunny fan? Yeah, of course, yeah. That's why I was asking in the next five years, like Bad Bunny is like, he's showing like What's it's it? gonna be a straight somebody, was it? in that world. Who's this Bad Bunny? Who else is it? J Balvin. J Balvin, I saw him. He's the one with mental health, huh? Yeah, he's the mental health. Yeah, I saw that. We're not talking about mental health. Yeah. He he represents it, like, you know, dealing with the depression and all well, that. Well, I sh- you know what I mean? I've been in the psych world more than him. I should represent it. Mm. Mm-mm-mm. You don't deal with depression, right? You seem happy. You get because you got your shit so fast. I don't know. I feel like um, not really in the last like year or whatnot. I feel like I just um, I don't cling on to shit as much. I'm just like, oh, that's fucked up. That happened, but I like have things I need to do. Do you think like that? Like I brought up with you once, Mike. Like you you fucked up today, then the next day something crazy happens. You're happy and you forget about. Yeah, why was the fuck was I bugging out the other day? Like I used to always do inventory. You stay the, the happy. I do path. inventory that that was I nice. Inventory. Yeah, was I nice to everybody today? Was I a dick today? Did I conduct myself well with that girl? Did I do the right shit here? What? Yeah, and I feel most of the you time. Like a daily analysis? Like you like inventory. go over what happened? Yeah. Mm. You don't do that shit, right? You don't how you deal with well, that. I'm shit? different than him. I'm different than him. I, I get more shit than he get into. So I'm trying to um, define myself differently now. Does money help your depression when you see your first bank account? You, the, saw, you saw your first million, you were like... I like the only way I get sad is if I like sit in a room for like a whole day. So I just never like try to sit alone and like just be like, oh, everybody hates me. That's me. mental health, man. That's mental health going down mm. right now. You're sick, boy. Boy, you're sick. You need help. You had moments like that, like the whole world was hating on you. Like you see the media. No, I, I mean like the thing. Annoyed by media when you know no media. No one's hating is, on you. Who hating on you? It's a narrative. You don't think nobody hating on me? You think people hating on you? You don't see any. Are you kidding? <laughs> yeah, they fucking with it. <laughs> he definitely fuck with me. Right no, now. not right now. Right now, right in the car. So I'm fucking with you now. Man, it gets ruthless. Oh, I want know, Drew, but you should. You're, you're winning. They be fucking with you if you're a loser, not receiving awards when you really mm. should. Don't be with you. No, listen, no, listen. Not, like, if they're not smart enough to be your friend, fuck them. I'm not fucked up about it. Like I'm oh. just not like. I wish they would leave me alone. I actually, I feel I feel, would be more concerned if like nobody was upset, you know, at me. Because then it's like, what are you doing? I need to step it up, you mm. know. Um. Yeah. You gotta want to be up more than anybody wants you to be down. I mean, our eyes are open, and the third eye is like with the narrative of social media and the media itself. I mean, do you really believe like everything you read now? Like, don't you look at it? In, no. In different parallels, like, all right, this is what's going on. They they fuck with me. This is bullshit. The thing is, like, you know, you can't control really your emotion, just how you react to them. I didn't mean to dump this like that. It was just like, oh You're my god. Fucking up my fucking. Um, Let's get a set. vacuum in here. <laughs> You're fucking the setup. You're gonna fucking vacuum, man. You fuck the setup. Like, you know, like if you already like sad or some shit and somebody say like something that's like 
like this, they point out this one thing that you already like upset about. You just like, damn, that mm. person is right. I ain't shit. Fuck me. Mm. See? Yeah. Now that's the devil working. Now he's working now. When you hate yourself, fuck me. I'm this and yeah, that. Yeah, but I never, I never like agree to it. I just be like, I'm like, Nas, you sad right now. I don't listen to that shit. No, but like, your, your subconscious don't know if you're playing or not. It's all about your subconscious, the message you give your subconscious. I give myself a lot of love, though, so nothing, nothing nobody can say. Can okay. Be, like, fuck all me right, up. good. I understand that. I understand that. Is the new album going to... You gotta exert the revenge of Lil Nas. What's the name of the album, Nas? I don't know what the fuck name the album. Is. I'm no like name yet. Struggling, but we when we get, when we get it, you gotta come back it. with a vengeance, huh? I'm gonna shit on niggas so bad. <laughs> Can't wait yeah. for this shit, man. <laughs> is it is it like certain people you're ta targeting? The or best revenge. Uh, targeting every every nigga. I'm just gonna shit on them. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> call oh, names man. out too, man. Yeah, yo, Mike like that kind of call shit. Call names out too. I be wanting to call out names, but it's like nobody who's actually, I guess, killing it more than me has said anything about me. Mm. So it's like I'm not calling out somebody's name that's like in my head, like not on my level, I guess. Uh, okay. So yeah. Take a day trip. Uh, he, did he do uh, most of the production or? Two. Two. It's two of them. Did you work with Diddy? Did I work with Diddy? P. Diddy. I didn't work with Diddy. Oh. Is that your guy? I like Diddy. I think that'd be cool if you and him did something. Yeah, Diddy is uh, a cool guy. I met him like a couple times. Yeah, he's a good guy. I saw that photo of you. It's funny. It's about to be Halloween. You and uh, Jay Z. Like, was it like? That's like, so random. Yeah, that's so random, right? What the hell was? What was that about? Like, what, what was? <laughs> I was at Beyonce and Jay Z's like Chris, you no know, Halloween party in like 2019, mm -hmm. and it was just like the most, like, what the fuck? How did I? You were dressed as camera. How the hell did I get in here? <laughs> and I was dressed as camera, bro. Camera. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't even, I didn't even think about it. I just saw Jay Z. I was like, let's take this picture. <laughs> And I'm like dressed full I don't think he camera. Hates Cabra, but I think he's, they're cool now. Jay yeah, they're like cool. the, yeah, yeah, yeah. he's like that guy. He just don't he let go of all his beef probably by mm. now. Yeah, that was crazy. I love it. This is so no, cool. right. <laughs> no questions. No, no questions with Jay. With Jay? You, you didn't ask him anything. Like you been cool. Uh, I feel like I was at that point in my career where I didn't want to say anything wrong <laughs> to anybody. So it's like it was you know they gave you they give you the 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 simple like. Yo, you killing it, good for you. Like, step feet on their necks, like, talk. And then, like, you know. But, I, <laughs> you know, one day I feel like I can have a good conversation with Jay-Z or something. But I feel like niggas don't want to talk about, like, how the, how can how they can help you or some shit or, mm -hmm. like, what some motive. No, no, no. You yeah. know what I used to do when people were talking shit about me? What? I like this. After I knocked the nigga, I was like. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what does that mean? I'm number one, baby. I do knock somebody ass out. Yeah, and all the haters are there and the reporters, and I go like it. <laughs> don't you don't do that. No, don't listen to Mike then. Yeah. Number one, baby. You do that on stage tonight at the show? <laughs> number one. For my like next Grammy's acceptance speech, I'm just going on stage. Yeah. yeah. Number one, baby. <laughs> don't even have to say nothing else. <laughs> number one. <laughs> Jay Z would be like a bucket list. You already got Nas. Nas came on your record on the remix. Yeah, that was super crazy. Was that random or was there a relationship? Now, where did the Nas? name Nas come from? Yeah. Nas, right? Where did the name Nas come from? <laughs> Nas, right? Shit. The honest truth. The honest truth. Damn, I can't believe I'm finna say this. It's not like bad. Check it out. So, damn, I know he's going to see this, too. Anyways, when I was, like, a teenager or whatnot, I had this guy who I was, like, kind of, like, dating, but not really. Mm. And his name was Nasir. Oh, wow. And I, I, was, I had, around that time, I, like, started a Twitter account. And I was like, you know what? I need a name, but I don't want people to know it's me because they want to be, like, a stand on here. I was, like, a, a Nicki Minaj, like, stand account. And I was like, oh, I'll just use Nas. Oh, and, shit. And I kind of got stuck with it. Can't believe this. I can't believe this. I kind of got stuck with the fucking name, bro. Wow. And once yeah, I started yeah, yeah. to do music... Yeah, guy, why the fuck you steal my name, he nigga? Does, he probably been thinking... He's probably like, Can I sue that nigga any kind of way? But wait. But wait. <laughs> so I started to do music, 
And I'm like, oh, they got a little ooze, they got a little yada, they got a little what? Oh my God, because it was just a joke. I was going, oh, I'll be a little Nas. Wow. And then it gets worse. <laughs> it gets, it gets worse. worse. It gets worse. I I've never told anybody this. It oh, gets worse. Shit. So it's like, okay, I'm Lil Nas now. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Post my music. Wait a minute. There's another Lil Nas X that exists on, on YouTube and SoundCloud. So I was like, I'm going to just add an X. And I was Lil Nas X. So it was like the most fucked up way to get a stage name ever. Oh, my God. What a what battle, battle, right? <laughs> and I know, <laughs> I know he's going to see this shit. And look, I apologize. <laughs> and, but I'm, I have the name now. I'm like stuck with it. I'm not changing my name. I'm going 10 toes. But yeah, that's the story. <laughs> that's the honest truth of how I got my name. Mental health in the industry. <laughs> what are your thoughts? Your mic being Mental key, health. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> name oh, four, 30 oh, under 30 in 2020. It was random. I didn't try to pick his name on purpose. It's just the first name that popped in my head. That is crazy. Hey, we're talking about you in the music industry again. Forbes yeah. 30 under 30, 2020. How did you react when you saw your first million in your account? Like you saw, you literally saw a liquid million. Even before the million, the first time I reacted to like seeing $10,000 like in my what? account. <laughs> you went crazy. No, I literally like, we were driving to McDonald's. Like my body, like my life kind of like flashed. It was like, bro, you shouldn't be here. Everybody is going to try to rob you and kill you now. And... <laughs> I was really scared. At, I was so scared oh, at wow. first when I saw any money. Just, it was like, bro, is this like for real? And plus all the, everybody kept dying left and right like mm, with yeah. the musicians. And I was like, is this like a setup for me like to die in the universe trying to like orchestrate it or some shit? I don't know. Oh, I was wow. just really in my head and scared. But, you know, it came around. Was the first thing fashion? Like blowing money? No, I actually didn't really start spending money until maybe... Maybe last year. What you buy? Really? Like, I always spent money, but I never, like, would buy, like, expensive clothes and stuff like that. Cars what do you buy then? What do I buy? Like, I get, like, Airbnbs for, like, my family for, like, Thanksgiving and Christmas and get, like, a lot of gifts. Uh, you good with money? Do you save money? Do I save money? You're not that good with it. No, I'm great with money, bro. I'm, um... I never, like, spend more than half of what I'm about to make. And, like, that's kind of, like, my goal right now. Like, when I'm, like, doing stuff. You know, I can't tell you all my secrets. Cause, yeah, you know, of course. You already gave us the, the name. That was incredible. How much money in your bank account, man? Uh huh? Nothing. How much money you got? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> like, they might even stitch it on himself. I'm loaded, X. <laughs> yeah. I got about... I got, like, $10,000 left, maybe. Yeah. Maybe twenty. Yeah. Well, you're just leaving a bank... And pour water in it, I bet you it grows. Pour water in that shit. Somebody <laughs> told me that and I didn't listen, but I'm gonna listen now. Yeah, it grow. Were, were you also scared of the Billionaires Club? Like, you, billion streams. Is that, do you get nervous when you see that? Yeah, the billions. When you see like billions of streams, streaming did that like get you billion, nervous huh? too? That, you know, the whole planet, like you stopped the whole planet for like, I don't know, a certain period of time. Stop to listen to you. And you just wanted to be famous. I think that was definitely crazy, but I feel like the, the crazier one was actually doing my first concert like maybe a few months ago and then seeing like actual people with the lights and shit. I'm like, mm. and I like cried a little bit. I was like, what? Y'all actually exist? Y'all not like robots on the internet? Oh, wow. So, yeah. Yeah. Good shit. Who's who's going to be on the next album? You can't shout that out either. No more secrets. Let's hope. Let's hope Beyonce, Rihanna, Kanye, Jay-Z. Um, Carly B. Carly B, Madonna. Madonna and you be real good together. The remaining members of the Queen Band. Who? The remaining members? Yeah, of the Queen Band. Who you'll else? do Freddy's. Any do Beatles? Freddy. A lot you'll of Beatles. You'll do Freddy. Survivor. You'll do Freddy while they sing the songs. Yeah, I'll be Freddy. Freddie Mercury. <laughs> My last question is movies, documentary, like, uh, like, like. Uh, I think I'm working on something of a doc right now. That's it's. I don't know what the fuck it's going to be yet, but whatever it's going to be, it's going to be great. But I have, like, this ultimate goal to have, like, my biopic in the theaters in, like, 2031 wow. or something like that. And then it releases with, like, whatever album that is. I hope I'm allowed, alive to see that shit, 31. Damn. No, oh, you're going to be Why alive, can't man. be next month? You're going to be front <laughs> row in the theater. Mike is crazy. Mike, you want to end it, Mike? All right, brother. Tyson 2.0 has a gift for you. 
Pull that knife. Just a little. I'm finna gas the fuck up there, huh? Don't yeah. smoke today. You got you got your show later. Don't smoke. Smoke after the show. There's some mic bites in there. If you can't smoke. Please. What are these gummies? Yeah, and try this on. This is my clothes. Some hot boxing. Uh huh. It'll look good on you. You're a good dresser, so. Appreciate that. You look like you're Jamaican now. <laughs> you <Okay. look> <laughs> No, nah, man. Hope y'all, you know. Yeah, we had a good hope time. Hope we got man. some good moments out of this interview, man. Hope. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Shit was crazy. So, brother. Yeah. Listen, Nas. There's a bunch of millions and millions of people watching you right now, right? Tons of them, right? Tell Which them, camera? This one right here. So, talk to them. Tell them where, where to find you at. Just tell them your whole skilo, right there. <clears throat> My name is Lil Nas X. You can find me at L-I-L-N-A-S-X on all social platforms. You go and follow me, you go and listen to my music, and you go and get my new album when it comes out because it's going to be the best fucking thing since sliced bread. And much love to y'all. That was beautiful. That was beautiful. I'm Mike Tyson, and this is the end of another episode of Hot Boxing. See ya. Who, kid? 